Warning. Toluene is carcinogenic and highly flammable, gloves, goggles and lab coat are absolutely mandatory the experiment must be performed in a fume hood or in a well ventilated area. Today, we will make pure toluene from a toluene based paint remover, by terms of a fractional distillation. I am currently planning to use the toluene to synthesize benzoic acid, from which I will make methyl benzoate. Materials and reagents required 50 ml of paint remover, a fractional distillation setup. First, 50 ml of paint remover are placed in a clean and dry Erlenmeyer flask in addition to a magnetic stirring bar, then a general fractional distillation setup is assembled, on top of the head of the fractionating column, a T adapter with a digital thermocouple is attached, this is absolutely necessary as we will check the temperature of the vapors periodically. The system is then heated under constant stirring, now, I will briefly explain the theoretical basis of the fractional distillation, in this case, we are working with a solution that contains toluene in addition to other additives, including methyl ethyl ketone, we will assume that this system is an ideal solution of two or more volatile species, at any temperature, there is a vapor phase in a pseudo-equilibrium situation with the respective liquid. The composition of the vapor phase is richer on the most volatile species with respect to the composition of the solution itself, in a simple distillation setup, the composition of the collected distillate is the same than that of the vapor phase in equilibrium with the system, this means that two volatile species cannot be properly separated from one another by terms of a simple distillation, unless their respective boiling points are very far away from each other. To solve this, we use a fractionating column, this contains a lot of small glass plates, in each of them, a non-real equilibrium is established between the liquid and the vapor phase, in each successive plate the vapor becomes richer and richer in the most volatile species, while the liquid phase becomes richer and richer in the less volatile ones so that when the vapor reaches the head it is mostly composed by the species with the lower boiling point present in the solution. After a while, the vapor will start to rise through the column beds, where it will get partially refluxed. Then, the vapor reaches the tea head. At this point, the thermocouple should read a temperature corresponding to that of the boiling point of the less volatile species. Theoretically the temperature should remain constant until that specific species is distilled out, however, according to my experience the temperature can fluctuate quite a lot, especially when working inside a fume hood, once one specific species is completely distilled out, the temperature of the thermocouple decreases as little to no vapor reaches the thermocouple.
After a while the temperature seems to keep constant at about 109.6 degrees, the standard boiling point of toluene is 111 Celsius degrees, this is within the error of the thermocouple. In addition to this, the pressure of the lab is not exactly one atmosphere, so that the boiling point differs from the standard one. The distillate is collected as a function of the boiling point range shown by the thermocouple. After two hours, all the toluene fraction is distilled out, at this point the hot plate can be turned off. This is the liquid residue left after the distillation which contains higher boiling point impurities present in the original paint remover, finally, I've collected a total of six different fractions, to each of them I've performed a Raman spectrum from which we can infer its composition. Finally we have obtained 30 ml of pure toluene out from 50 ml of paint remover, the final amount will vary depending on the composition of the paint remover used. Thanks for watching.